Good evening, dear father and my dear brothers. As we are having the novena in honor of Blessed Elizabeth Sanna, I welcome each one of you to participate in these nine days of novena. The theme for the first day is Wife and Mother. From when she was a young girl, Elizabeth desired to become a nun. Having lost the ability to lift her arms, she didn't think of getting married, and yet, as a young woman, many young men wanted to marry her. Thus, on September 13, 1807, at 19 years of age, she celebrated marriage with a certain Antonio Maria Carpu Porco, a truly good Christian of modest means. Antonio was an exemplary husband and father who loved his wife and trusted her completely. In fact, he said to his friends, My wife is not like yours. She also, she is a saint. Elizabeth would say, I was not worthy to have such a husband. He was so good. Their family was a model for the entire area. In the following years, seven children were born to them. She spent her days between the houses. The education for her children and the land where she worked without sparing herself. And she also found time for long hours for, of prayer in, the, in church. She didn't fear criticism for the faith which she so, she so publicly professed and lived. This is my style <coughs> of life, she, respo she responded. It hasn't prevented me from attending to my duties as the mother of a family. She herself prepared her children for, the, for confession and communion and passed to them a great love for Jesus with much tenderness, with ever being sharp. A true education from the heart. Gather in this place today. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Have your way. As we lay aside our own desires, sleep and cross our hearts with holy fire. Have your way.
Holy Spirit, the most holy, divine, blessed sacrament, we, all your mere creatures, gathered around your sacrament to give thanks to you and praise you and more precisely to adore you we bless you we love you with deep reverence we bow down before your throne of mercy Lord God, in this precious moment, we ask you to bless us and give us the grace to live a holy and sacrificial life as Blessed Elizabeth Sanna had lived. Lord Jesus, our Divine Shepherd and Master, help us to follow you and to love you in all the things we do and say. Pour out your spirit of love in all of us during this novena time. And especially, we put at your feet all the wives and mothers Lord, bless them and give them the grace to live a life like Blessed Elizabeth Sana. Please be seated. You never arrive in my arms, but you will never leave my heart. Let us reflect on thee for a while. Give thanks to the Lord for his good, his love endures forever. Let us let us give thanks to the Lord by singing this bhajan. Thank you. 
Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Who trusts is the Lord. Let us open our hearts and listen to word of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 13, verses 14 to 15. So if I, your Lord and teacher, has washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. (coughs) 
you are not in flesh but in spirit the spirit of god dwell in you romans chapter 8 verse 9 dear brothers in christ jesus i am privileged to speak on blessed elspe sana the co-worker of our founder st vincent palotti as we are reflecting on the theme elspe sana as a mother and wife firstly let us know about her life Elizabeth Sanna was born 1788 she died with reputation of sanctity in Rome on 17th February 1857 and was buried in church of San Salvatore in Onda soon after soon afterwards the recognition of her holiness she became very evident <coughs> that in just 4 months on 15th june 1857 for verification was intended i request you take your bibles can anyone read the gospel of st john chapter 13 was 14 to 15 so if i your lord and teacher have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Thank you, brother. Dear brothers in Christ Jesus, as we heard the gospel about the service, it means helping and not ex- expecting any reward from others. Here, I strongly believe that the greatness of Elizabeth Sanna. sent for her is service of great faith in Jesus Christ here we can reflect upon three things elizabeth sana as a spiritual wife as a spiritual mother and obedience firstly as a spiritual wife elizabeth sana had desired to become nun when she was younger due to some health issues she could not become nun and she did not think of getting married though as a young and as a young woman many young men wanted to marry her on september 13 1807 at the age of 19 years old she got married with a certain man named antonio mario propius he was a truly good christian of Morris means he loved as better son so much and trust her completely he said to his friends my my wife is not like yours she is a saint sana would say that i was not worthy uh, as have a husband he was so good they were blessed with seven children they became model for others and secondly as a spiritual wife and his mother she spent a lot of time with the children and she looked after her how after the house she had gifted her with good observing skill and dealing wisely with her people with other people with other people she told her children about the importance of spiritual development Through the Holy Eucharist, you become spiritual child of God. She took care of her children's education. She found she found long hours of prayer in church. She prepared her children for confessions and communion, and passed on the passed on them great love for Jesus. She did not fear the criticism on her faith when she publicly professed and lived. she said that this is my style of of life she responded that this is my responsibility as a mother of a family and thirdly is with us obedience towards god we can see here completely obedience to god to her husband to her to her family we heard when her husband said she would become saint she 
she expressed unworthiness and she brought her children up in spiritual manner she was very much responsible in in her spiritual activities she became an example for her children in praying and devotion to the holy eucharist saint vincent polotti had been her spiritual director for 18 years as we chose path to path to follow jesus in the footsteps of our founder saint vincent polotti let us take an example of follower elsbe sana to lead a spiritual life she acquired the virtue of holiness love and service to god from saint vincent polotti dear brothers let us take our let us take our life as as an example in loving serving and living an holy life amen Please take page number two. Prayer. O oh God, sanctify the spirit, the good love of the church, your bride. You pour the flame of your love into the hearts of the sisters of the Sana and radiate it in your family, the domestic church. I thank you for this extraordinary wife and mother. For her encouraging and simple goodness, give to every woman, married, mother, single, consecrated, the grace of being and presence which forms every family, every community, the circle of faith, love, in generous, hard work, and sanctifying service. To the intercession of Blessed Elizabeth Sana, let us put forth our inter- intercession prayers. Lord our loving father today on this occasion we pray for all the mothers for their good health and their commitment to their families lord mothers who are working hard for well-being of their children and their families we ask you lord for this through the intercession of blessed elizabeth sanna and of our lord saint our founder saint vincent paloti for this let us pray Lord, 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 merciful Father, we also pray for all the wives who sacrificed their plans and desires and gave their life to a person to build a, a good Christian family, as Blessed Elizabeth lived her life in prayer and work. Lord, help and bless them for their faithfulness to their husbands. For this. We ask you, Lord, to the intercession of the Sri Vijayana and our founder Saint Vincent Paloti. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation.
the 26th General Assembly. 22nd General Assembly. O oh God, infinite love, sanctions of humility, moral abundance of love, gave us our humility, so that the world may be filled with charity, goodwill, good family, and a pleasant family, and the society of the country of our city. Today's 22nd General Assembly, in unity of heart and purpose, in these times of great difficulty and of abundant opportunity. Our society is living the difficulty of new situations. Strengthen our faith in Christ, also in the universal Savior. Change the light of the Holy Spirit. We are blessed in our weakness and make us society and inspiration so that we may discern the truth of the world and do your will in all things. Teach us to extend our arms to all those who are society.
Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Pray for us. 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 Pray for